the Power Balloon opens up so many possibilities for creativity and level design. Today, I'm going to show you 10 awesome Power Balloon ideas to make your courses even more fun. Let's get started. Due to his experience with handling mysteries, the Mushroom Kingdom has hired Luigi to investigate the disappearance of the Power Balloonians. Through his search, he figures out that Fire Flowers and Pea Balloons used to be friends until the Fire Flowers betrayed them. He's given the power of the balloons to get to the bottom of this. As he moves throughout the course, he must avoid the crazed Fire Flowers. If he touches one, he loses his balloon powers and needs to fall all the way back down to regain them. Fire Flowers with wings patrol the sky trying to ignite Luigi. They bounce on note blocks trying to block his path forward towards the truth. They even set up traps with bullet blasters to try to catch Luigi by surprise. When he reaches the top of the Sky Fortress, he finds that a giant angry wiggler has corrupted these fire flowers. Luigi must defeat him by avoiding the fire flowers while trying to hit the on-off switches. Once he hits the switches three times, he can drop a muncher ally to destroy the wiggler and bring the Power Balloonians back to life. The Power Balloonians were so grateful for Luigi's help that they allowed him to keep his balloon powers. Luigi wants to see if he can earn some delicious coins by becoming a delivery man. In this course, Luigi will need to bring items across to impatient customers. This bob needs to walk into a Koopa Clown car and then will follow Luigi wherever he flies. If he can get the bob to this claw, he can carefully remove the packaging and deliver the bomb to the thwomp. A P-switch bounces up into the thwomp to open the pathway. Iggy wants to stop Luigi's plan and steal all of the sweet gold for himself. Luigi made an ally with the thwomp and needs to deliver Iggy to him. Luigi needs to bump him into the claw, get him to drop down, and lead him forward on the conveyor belts. His friend Thwomp crushes Iggy so Luigi can devour the gold for himself. What's your favorite new power-up in the 3.0 update? Let us know in the comments below. Luigi decides deliveries were too stressful, wants to fly as far into the sky as possible to test his new power. When Luigi makes it all the way into space, he notices that his powers act differently. The power balloon is actually much faster in the night sky theme than any other theme. In this course, he flies through an auto-scroll section with enemies and projectiles shooting towards him. He can avoid bonsai bills, regular cannonballs, and even fast cannonballs. With the extra speed in space, he has extra time to easily dodge all these obstacles and collect his golden lunch. Luigi has discovered an upside down planet out in space. In the underground night theme, the entire course will shift the gameplay upside down. Luigi's balloon powers work perfectly for this because he's able to stop all momentum and float in place before moving forward. In this level, Luigi will have to fly swiftly and avoid Mecha Koopas and Grinders. He's faced with speed challenges to quickly hit P-switches and make it through spiky hallways to find the next one. Once he makes it through, he challenges the overlords of the planet. In this boss arena, two Iggy's and two Zappa Mecha Koopas on tracks try to pop Luigi. He must float carefully and fly at the perfect moment to avoid the blue and green projectiles. If he can survive long enough, a piece which will appear to create a door for him to escape. Be sure to give the creators of these courses some love by checking out their level codes in the description below. Now that Luigi has mastered the technique of the power balloon, he makes a racetrack to compete. In his Luigi Kart track, competitors must fly with the pea balloon while moving as fast as possible through obstacles. In this track, Luigi has made multiple pathways, including shortcuts. If he uses the shortcut carefully, it can shave precious seconds off his time. Racers must avoid obstacles like bumpers to keep their momentum. Luigi also added stars and claws that racers can grab to move with extra speed. He must be careful to not get caught by the claws himself because they will slow him down. Luigi must quickly push past the seesaws and the falling platforms to master this course and get the world record. Bowser has imbued the angry sun with lava and captured it inside of his castle. Luigi's the only one with the flying skills that can traverse this deadly lair. In this course, the bottom of the screen is lined with lava. The only way to progress through is by flying with the power balloon. 
Luigi will have to time his movements carefully to not get hit by the angry sun. In some cases, he will need to use the sun to open the pathway forward. If Luigi takes any damage, he'll have to restart. Falling feathers also threaten to take away his powers. He must dodge these floaty demons to continue. The final challenge of the level is to collect these pink coins to get a key. He'll need to avoid cheap cheeps that are imbued with molten cherry juice while grabbing these raspberry flavored coins. Once Luigi gets them all, he can escape this fiery fortress. Just when he thought he escaped the castle, he enters a room full of bob -ombs. Luigi will have to act fast to not get crunched between a bullet blaster and a hard block. As he progresses through this level, he needs to gobble coins to avoid explosions. In this course, a bullet blaster on a Lakitu's cloud pushes Luigi forward. This combination acts like a variation of Otter Scroll, except the speed can change based on Luigi's movements. Because the cloud is inside the lava, the bullet blaster will push Luigi a bit slower to give him more time to react to the upcoming danger. Each room features an even faster bullet blaster setup. The second area has a red bullet blaster on a cloud that increases his speed. For the final challenge, make sure the Lakitu's cloud is not touching the lava to go at ludicrous speed. Once Luigi makes it through the speedy nightmare, he can enter the pipe and escape. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to inflate that like button. Now that Luigi has a taste for speed, he wants to try out Ludwig's fabled sky challenge. In this course, each room has a separate challenge that Luigi must finish quickly to survive. When he enters the room, a bob -omb starts walking at the top of the screen. If the bob -omb makes it all the way to the right, it will be crushed by a hard block to explode and trigger a switch. Off-screen munchers will fall on Luigi, defeating him and making him start over. If he can quickly move past enemies, deadly power-ups, or collect delicious goodies, he can move forward. In the final challenge, Ludwig and Iggy shoot rings of death at Luigi. Opposite to the other rooms, he actually wants to wait out the timer in this arena. If he can outlast the angry turtles, he can defeat them and escape. The Koopalings want revenge for hurting Ludwig and Iggy. They've lured Luigi to their airship trap. In this course, the Koopalings are all stationed in safe spots to fire their wands at Luigi while he tries to fly away. They've strategically placed bullet blasters and bonsai bills to try to pop his belly. As he flies, the wand magic can follow him through walls for long distances. In the final section, the Koopalings launch as many projectiles as they can while Luigi navigates through a tight space. Once he makes it through, he can safely leave the angry Koopalings behind for good. Luigi wants to check on his old buddy, Mech. He realizes that Mech has fallen in with the wrong crowd. Once Luigi enters this pipe, lava starts rising towards him in a vertical subworld. He knows that Mech will survive the lava, so he leaves him behind and grabs his trusty power balloon. All the bad influence Mecha Koopas try to launch projectiles at Luigi to stop his escape. He must dodge projectiles while keeping up his pace to outrun the rising lava. As he rises, optional pathways offer him delicious rewards. If he gets too greedy though, he'll melt in the hot jelly. He'll also need to move through blocks that can slow him down if he bumps into them. Once he avoids the missiles and beams, he can safely reach the top of the room. To see nine incredible Mecha Koopa ideas, click on the video on the screen right now. If you want more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I'm Eros Sano, and thanks for watching.